Another choppy day. We see the market continue to be propped up in this uh, range right here. We talked about this earlier today. Monday made these lows. Tuesday, Wednesday, just massive chop. It keeps coming back to these levels more and more frequently. The market, this is a prime example of a market that is not doing what it should do. Uh, number one reason is Fed stimulus, constant propping up, overconfidence in the market. There should be more uh, two-way price action in this market for it to just uh, sit here like this and be propped up at these levels. Uh, it looks a little, actually looks a little bit funny um, from classical chart patterns. And so pre-Fed stimulus, there would be more distribution. There would be more of a downtrend in this, and that's very healthy in a bull market. You don't have to call for a bear market to have natural uh, pullback. So um, interesting to be propped up here. I do think it's going to sell off overnight uh, because oftentimes when we see this propping up in the afternoon. It does sell off overnight. And we're in three days in a row, and it has yet to, uh, the bulls have yet to take off. If we do get some sort of stimulus package news, I guess it could do the, uh, could move the other way. But um, the market seems to be um, playing that game every time they uh, think there's going to be Fed stimulus or uh, actually fiscal stimulus from the uh, Senate and House. Uh, the market starts to uh, act like it's going to rally and move really fast. But um, let's look at the trades on the day. Having said all that, Choppy, choppy day, tick count, uh, tick pulse, not tick pulse, tick count trend two is a counter trend strategy that really did a wonderful job taking advantage. Not sure why I didn't capture this move. Um, I'll have to go back and look. But one, two, three, four out of five trades today. This, this, uh, a lot of my strategies, as you know, are aggressive and get right back in. So this short trade was stopped out, but we got right back in. And uh, plus 1787.50, the 200K portfolio and the uh, stock index 19 trade two contracts of this. So up $3,500 if you're trading in that portfolio on this. And so good trading day on this choppy, choppy uh, type market. That's why I keep strategies like this in, in the portfolio. It's done well lately, uh, even though it's uh, over the past year it ha hasn't done as well. And this type of market environment can do really well. Um, after hours ES, this is the old version. I need to take that out. We have the old version. The new version did not trade, and I will show you that here uh, here shortly. So the new version did not trade, so um, we had no trades in after hours. So let's look at, so we have tick count trend plus 1787.50. Then we have 60-minute breakout ES lost overnight. Recently, um, this has been an... Uh, had a good run back here, but right here it's getting cho it's choppy in these breakouts. Uh, market ought to go down, like we said, but instead it goes up and it creates these false breakouts. And you have um, Night Trader. Night Trader has been disappointing lately. I've set this back to five years so we can see this. It's had a bigger drawdown in the last two years than it's normally had. This is a back test of five years, though, and this is with slippage and commission. And you see the... Um, See the equity curve of this. It's kind of in line. We don't typically just exit at worst case drawdowns in the last, I guess, since two, this is 2016. So the last four or five years, um, we don't just exit. It's in a portfolio, so we have the diversity. There's plenty of times when a um, strategy makes a worst case drawdown and then recovers from there. Uh, we do have to consider the fact that if we are entering into a bear market, um, the concept that night trader, which takes advantage of bull market nighttime trends, may be affected. This may affect some of the portfolios, but we're not just going to jump as soon as it makes a worst case drawdown the last four years when we're testing it back further and it's in a portfolio that has a further back test in that. Having said that, I'm looking for um, some additional updates on some of the other strategies to help balance this out on the short side if it does continue a little bit longer. So. Um, I want to show you, I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, that is Night Trader once again. It's had several losers in a row. It's in about a $6,400 drawdown. Um, adaptive moving average, really choppy the last two days. Really had a great day on Monday, and this chop is pretty extreme the last two days. Uh, you see this, you, you can see this in a um, sy system like this. Goes short, the market rallies, so it gets long. Then it rolls over, goes short again. You see, uh, see how the short trade it, it won't it won't extend on this short signal and 
ends up the day minus 14.6250, and um, better than it was right here when it was short and the market was here. Market sold off at the end of the day. We see the last four days the market is has sold off at the end of the day, um, down at the end of the day. Um, and so, you know, they say amateurs trade the open, professionals trade the close. How significant is that? And I, I do anticipate potential more selling overnight because it's uh, been propped up. And oftentimes you see a prop up in the day session. The real trend happens at night. And if we do, um, do, do have that, we will be profitable on 60-minute breakout short because it got short here at the end of the day. Got short, market rally, got long, sold off. Just... I mean, just look at this. Look at this one-minute chart. How how sloppy this is. This is extreme. And so the last two days, we're going through drawdowns in the portfolios and looking for some resolution, some resolution and a breakout one way or the other. Um. So so we have one, two, three, four, five strategies that traded. Tick count trend two was the only profitable strategy today. On the E-mini S&P, NQ, E-mini Nasdaq. A 60-minute breakout took two trades, minus 2050, tick pulse, minus 625. And so not a lot of trades in NQ, which is a good thing. Um, it's just been a choppy, choppy market. So um, you see, um, see it's a down day overall in the stock indexes. Euro, uh, plus 12.50 on the day, not much. Lot, gold was the highlight of the day, plus 1,025. On Asia Gold 4 and Asia Gold 4 2020, minus 5. 25 on Asia Gold for short. Silver, no trades. Crude oil, Cobra Crude, minus 55 on the day. Uh, crude oil sold off back to the $40 level. Uh, natural gas, no trades. Uh, have to note that natural gas is at $3. Uh, they've talked about $6 natural gas after the election, depending on who's elected. Our Bob, uh, no trades. Soybeans, no trades. So not a lot of trades in the commodity markets. Energies, metals, uh, but we and we didn't have a lot of trades in NQ, but they were both of those were losers, and then four out of five strategies were losses in in the ES, and so um, two two challenging days in a row after making equity peaks or near equity peaks on most on most portfolios on Monday, and so looking for some some direction in this market, extreme chop.